Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about Intune Architecture Diagram. We are going to decode Intune Architecture Diagram. We are going to compare the previous one that Microsoft released and the latest one that Microsoft released. We are going to talk about the details of that diagram. What are the components? What are the new components included in that etc etc. It is very important to understand these basics. So don't skip it. Let's go ahead and watch it. Out. Let's look into new Intune architecture diagram and how to decode it. So let's talk about Intune architecture first. If you click on the I button over here in YouTube, you would be able to get a dedicated video about Intune architecture, how Microsoft did the architecture of Intune and what are the evolutions of Microsoft Intune architecture, etc, etc. So that was all about Intune architecture. It is a SaaS solution and all those things. Microsoft released an Intune architecture diagram a few years back and there was a issue also related to that. Now Microsoft released the latest Intune architecture diagram with Intune suit representation etc etc. We we'll look into old diagram as well as new diagram and then we'll try to decode the latest architecture diagram etc in this video. So let's go to the next slide. This is the old architecture diagram which Microsoft shared. So you can see Microsoft Azure is there, Intune and Azure AD is there and then it has different connection. One is Intune admin portal. It is connecting via Graph API etc. And the devices are getting connected through the Intune core services etc into Intune. This is the core service. This is very very high level architecture diagram that Microsoft shared 3-4 years before. I now let's go to the next slide. This is the latest architecture diagram that Microsoft released and it has lots and lots of details. We'll go through this in detail. Let's check the Intune architecture diagram that Microsoft released very recently. Why very recently? Because it includes Intune suite and all the other newest things which are released very recently. It includes Intune suite etc which are released very recently. That is why I mean mentioned it is the latest Intune architecture diagram coming from Microsoft itself. So this is part of Microsoft Learn website. Not sure who really created this. So all the credits to Microsoft. Let's understand it from high level perspective. If you look at this particular box, this particular box is called Microsoft Intune product family. And the biggest box inside this architecture diagram is Microsoft Intune service. And and that is the core of Intune product family. And then it is interesting to see that Azure Active Directory also is in this particular box. Microsoft Intune product family. Maybe it is an extended family along with conditional access etc etc. And then on the left side if you look at you can see Intune suite that has a lot of new services etc as you know. And then Windows Autopilot is there within the product family. Endpoint and analytics is there. Intune data warehouse is still there. I don't know how many of you use this. Log analytics is there. That is pretty popular. Then you can see on the right side you can see configuration manager aka SSEM. That is also part of Intune product family. Now let's look into the connections. First of all co-management is the connection between SSEM and Intune service. But how about cloud attach? Let's assume that co management, cloud attach, tenant attach, everything is using Intune service and that is a connection between configuration manager and Intune service. That is what you can see in the architecture diagram over here. Now let's stay over here on the right side and check about group targeting. All the group targeting are done via Azure Active Directory and device complaints, status, results, everything is done via Azure AD conditional access. So these these are very key aspects of Intune architecture and even you can see RBAC. RBAC is also so a key service coming from Intune but facilitated by Azure Active Directory. In other words coming from Azure Active Directory and Intune service integration. Now let's go to the left side of the architecture diagram. In the left side what you can see is Intune suite. As you know Intune suite is different services, additional services 
services provided with additional license such as advanced analytics privilege access management etc so microsoft intune service is closely integrated with intune suite of products but it is interesting to see that it is a different box in the architecture diagram so it is a different set of services i would assume and then autopilot is a different service as you know and that is also very tightly integrated with intune services endpoint analytics that is also the same thing tightly integrated with intune services even data warehouse where you want to have some historical data so that is also tightly integrated even log analytics so we have covered left side of the diagram and right side of the architecture diagram within this intune product family group now let's look into the internals of microsoft intune service so let's start from left configure devices there are two boxes over here one is endpoint security and configuration policies these are part of configure device section over here in the architecture diagram most of these are saas solutions apart from the configuration manager and some other components but mainly intune services pure saas solution so configuring devices is using endpoint security and configuration policies settings catalog and endpoint security policies policies security baselines defender policies everything comes in this section of architecture diagram and then protect data app protection and compliance policies device compliance policies these are the two services or components coming under protect data in intune service what are the exact functionalities of protect data it is basically intune app protection policies and compliance policies those are the main components inside protect data that is what shown in the architecture diagram latest architecture diagram of intune and then if you go to the third section of this architecture diagram manage apps it's all about applications over here creating apps app configuration policies lob apps etc etc remember it is for all types of applications eh? or devices also all supported devices over here and this is all supported application types android windows ios mac os etc etc now let's look at these components data for complaints and threat assessment mobile threat defense connector mobile threat defense connector and microsoft tunnel both are different components as you can see some parts of it is inside the service and some are not i don't know what does that mean exactly but mobile threat defense connector is communicating with app protection and compliance policies and device compliance policies same for microsoft tunnel as well then there are two boxes over here one two data for complaints and threat assessment and then read device complaints information so this is is interacting with devices directly and collecting some data and sending it to intune service this is basically for mam managed devices and even for tunnel now let's look at mdm managed devices as you can see there are different types of devices over here different platforms windows mac os android ios ipad os linux and then mdm managed devices the devices are communicating with intune service in between network access control partners are there there is a connection from network access control partner also basically for the certificate deployments etc but the devices are directly interacting with the service as you can see this arrow over here and this arrow over here and then it is interacting with managed app service also as you can see over here and it is interacting with configure device service as well so these are the main three pillars of intune service then if you go to right side of things you can see there's a different arrow over here and it is there also so that is basically endpoint security and endpoint security policies are interacting with defender managed devices so windows windows server mac os linux and it is interacting with defender for endpoint service even though this is a microsoft service it is outside 
Intune product family and other SaaS solutions are also over here. Microsoft Store also part of this box. Microsoft App Store, Google App Store, etc. etc. You see an arrow over here and that arrow you can see over here also. So manage app service is going to get connected with Apple Store, Google Store, Microsoft Store, etc. etc. And Defender, Web Apps, SaaS Apps, Microsoft 365, Office Apps, etc. Manage Google play apps directly interacting with Google Cloud. Let's go to the left side of things. Let's start with patching. Windows update for business deployment service. So this is the component which is actually doing the patching on managed devices. But the policies are configured from here in Intune service and policies are getting delivered through Intune service. But once the policies are there in the devices, then it is interacting with deployment service via Windows update and then it is doing all the patching for all types of devices. Windows is going through Windows update and then it is contacting Windows update for business deployment service and then going to Microsoft Intune service box. The connectivity is like this as per the latest architecture diagram from Microsoft. So there is no connectivity mentioned between Mac OS and their updating services etc. Same for iOS and iPad OS how that works etc and on the left side you would be able to see graph API that is the main component but it is outside the Intune product family even Windows update for business is outside of Intune family graph API configuration and reporting web console this is Intune console Intune console connection is something like this in the architecture diagram Intune console and then configuration and reporting and then it is going to graph API graph API is contacting Intune product family and performing all the necessary actions related to Intune service for example if you want to configure a policy if you want to create a policy if you want to create a protection policy if you want to create an application etc all those communications are going through graph API API to Intune service and Intune product family. So why it is product family over here? Because it is interacting with all these components, even configuration manager. So that is really nice representation of Intune architecture. Now that you have seen all the details about Intune architecture and what are the core components, what are the core services, what are the additional services with additional licenses and what all included in Intune product family and what are the components outside from Microsoft and other vendors that can integrate with Intune. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. See you around.